In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to hide columns within the spreadsheet. So here we have a very basic sales spreadsheet. And what we're going to do is we're going to hide one of the columns. And what we're going to demonstrate is that even with a column hidden, it won't alter any of the cells format. So in this cell here, let's total all the sales within the spreadsheet. So here we have the total sales here. So now you'll be able to see when we hide a column, whether or not this total gets affected by the change. So let's say we want to hide column B. So what you can do, you can either right click or press this down arrow here to bring up this menu and then come down and select hide column. As you can see, the total here has not been affected by the hidden column. So let's say we want this secret in row four to be hidden. So you do the same again, you highlight row four, so that right click on a downward arrow and then come down to hide row. And again, as you can see, the total has not been affected by hiding that row. The way you see a column has been hidden, if you look at the top here, you'll see A, C, and there's no B. And also there is a darker line between A and C. This indicates that column has been hidden. And then to see a row has been hidden, as you can see, one, two, three, five, and there's no four. And between three and five, you can see the line is thicker, indicating that a column is missing. To bring hidden columns back, you want to click anywhere on the spreadsheet. So we'll just use column C here. You can right click or press the little down symbol again, and then you can come down and you can either select unhide column B or unhide all columns. And that'll either unhide a single column if you choose that, or if you select unhide all columns, all columns will be unhidden. As you can see, now column B is now unhidden. And you can do the same with rows. You click any row by right clicking or the little downward arrow, and you can come down and select unhide all rows or unhide row four. And as you can see, row four has now appeared. Again, the total has not been changed. If you want to hide multiple columns, you can select one column here and then hold down shift and then press the extra columns that you want to hide. And then again, right click or press the little down arrow to bring up the menu and select hide selected columns. And as you can see, all them columns are now hidden. And again, the total has not been affected. And as you can see at the top, A, B, F, with a black thick line between B and F, indicating columns are hidden. Again, to bring them back, click any column, and you can either select unhide column C to E, or unhide all columns. So you can separate the columns that you want to hide. You can highlight a column, and hold down shift, highlight the next column, then right click, or press the down arrow, and hide selected columns. And as you can see again, no effect on the total. So let's bring all them back. So that is how you hide columns in Apple Numbers. Hope you found that video useful. And if you did, check out this playlist here where we have multiple other Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstrations. And thank you for watching.